Humans are incredibly sensitive to changes in retinal disparity, that is the difference in image location of an object seen by the left and right eyes. In fact, we are able to detect changes as small as 120th of a degree in visual angle, which remarkably equates to double our visual acuity. It is the horizontal separation of our eyes that allows our brain to extract depth information from two-dimensional retinal images through stereopsis. Hence, it is critical that we emulate this accurately in augmented and virtual reality to ensure immersive, perceptually realistic experiences. However, stereo rendering algorithms currently fall short of accurately modeling the human visual system in that they assume that the horizontal separation of the eyes, referred to as IPD, is a fixed value for a particular user. While this would be true if the no parallax point, otherwise known as the center of projection of the eye, was located at the center of rotation. However, it is in fact located closer to the optics in the front of the eye. We verified this with our own psychophysical experiment conducted on several users. We showed that the subject's ability to use eye rotation to identify the presence of a hidden extent in the periphery is only possible due to its position about 7 or 8 millimeters in front of the center of rotation. While only using an eye model approximated position, Conrad et al. recently showed that including this offset in VR causes depth-dependent shifts with eye motion. While in monocular viewing this provided an effective ordinal depth cue, they were not able to show any measurable effects on absolute depth perception in stereoscopic viewing conditions. However, in this work, we showed that the offset position of the no parallax point also has implications on perceived disparity. Namely, since it uses effective IPD, changes with gaze direction, disparity and hence depth is being distorted by current stereo rendering approaches. For example, as a user verges closer, the no parallax points shift inwards and their effective IPD decreases. This would result in the perception of the object to be closer than intended by the rendering. Here we show the distortions of binocular disparity that would be observed in this 3D scene with the indicated fixation point. In this work, we present a more accurate eye model for rendering from the no parallax point, one that includes the offset of the visual and optical axes. We propose a gaze contingent stereo rendering approach that is able to correctly render disparity by accounting for the position of the no parallax point. We conduct a user experiment that shows that our gaze contingent rendering mode creates a shift in disparity that is not just detectable in VR, but can significantly improve disparity distortion such that the shape of an object is more accurately portrayed. Lastly, we conduct a user experiment to demonstrate that our gaze contingent rendering mode can significantly correct the perceived depth of digital content, such that digital and physical objects in optical see-through AR more accurately align. In both our AR and VR experiments, we find that using a calibration task to more accurately measure a user's IPD was not enough to correct the distortion for all gaze positions. This indicates that gaze contingent rendering is critical for accuracy, particularly for arms reach based tasks, including AR-assisted surgery or industrial and educational applications.